guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Today's video, as you can see in the title below, is going to be about a weekend packing list. So if you have been watching my channel for a long time, you're probably familiar with this. I do already have a weekend packing list, but this one's gonna be a little bit different because I just need like a little packing list for when I go to my boyfriend's house. So this one is like going away for the weekend. Um, I already have a whole bunch of stuff, not a whole bunch, but I have like a drawer at his house. Do you know what I mean? So I've got stuff over there, like some basic things, but I always kind of forget when I go to pack to go to his house for like, if it's a weekend or during the week, just a few days. Um, I always kind of forget like what to bring and what I don't have there already and all that stuff. So I really do need like a packing list to refer to because I'm every week that I go, I'm like writing a list and that's not, you know, that's not ideal. So I thought I would like to have one. So I'm just using a classic piece of um, half sheet filler paper. Just, I don't even need like the big one because this is not gonna be a big list, but I am gonna be keeping it in my big happy planner. You can keep classic size or mini lists in your big planner, it's okay. It doesn't have to like match the entire planner. It doesn't have to be the same size as the other paper. You can put anything in because it has these little um, holes for the discs. So I am gonna be using the Planner Babe sticker book. And the reason I thought of this one is because they have these really cute little suitcases and I thought that would be so fun to put on there. Um, and I th also thought I maybe would be using these lists here and I'll tell you what I'm gonna do in a minute. But the first thing I'm gonna do is make like a title for the top of the page. So I'm gonna be using one of these longer stickers from the Colorful Boxes book, this one, not the regular one. I may get another one of these because I use I like having these for like little specialty pages. I use these a lot. I'm gonna use this one because it matches these spots in the sidebar. Not the sidebar, you know, on the side. So let's just put this down. Just estimating here. That's pretty good. And up here at the top, I'm just going to write, um, guess weekend packing list even though it's really like my boyfriend's house packing list but I feel like that's a little weird to write <laughs> so let me do that actually before I do that let me check out this not that no I'm looking in the wrong book you guys what's wrong with me I want to look at these suitcases because maybe I'll put this up here but let me see what I'm thinking, yeah, I'm gonna do this one. And I'm thinking about putting it here, so I just wanna make sure like I leave enough room. Let's do that. Let me white out, um, where's my white out? My desk is a little messy today and every day, let's be honest, but today especially um, because I've been like filming a lot. Here it is, a lot in the past couple days and it's kind of messy. So I'm gonna white out part of this because this sticker is clear, so you're really gonna see through it. And I don't wanna see like the line below, you know what I mean? All right, so let's stick this down because I think this would just look really cute up here. Okay, so now I'm just going to write weekend packing list at the top. Okay, that turned out really centered. I don't know how, I was worried about that for a minute. Um, and then maybe I'll put like for Mike's house down here, just because if I post this on Instagram and they see like, I don't know, I don't know why I care about that, but like if they see like just a couple things, they're gonna be like, that's not what you need for a weekend. But, like, yeah. So I'm gonna take like a little, another little box, let's see.
Maybe like a black box because I'm gonna be using some other black boxes in here. Let me take this. Now let me take a pen maybe in this color. Um, just for fun. Is this the right color? Let's see. That's well, that's pretty good. And I'm just gonna write for Mike's house. Now I'm gonna do, whoops, so I'm gonna do like a little arrow, little fun curly Q arrow pointing to there. Okay. So I'm gonna break it out into categories because when I pack, I like to pack in categories. I don't know if you guys do that, but I do. And so I'm gonna be using these, like I said. Oh, maybe I'll use these ones. I was gonna use the ones with the little boxes. Let's see. Ooh, I wanna use this too, somehow. All right, let's, um, I was gonna use these and then like cut the top off and put a black box there, but I could also do this. Let me just see what this would look like. Like I was, my plan, the only plan I had for this was to use that suitcase and to take this, cut the, this part off and put this at the top, but I could just do this and this would actually look really cute. Let's do that. Okay, so I have four categories that I'm packing in. My clothes, toiletries, other, and then Bumble, because when I go to my boyfriend's house, I bring Bumble with me and I always have to remember to bring her stuff, so I have to pack her stuff too. So let's, um, let's just put a bunch of these down. Let's start with like a purple, I think. So I could do one, two, three, four kind of. So let's do that. I'm just gonna stick this here. Um, I guess I'll put this next. Make sure I have enough room here. I might want to bring this down. Hold on a minute. Why don't I let's stick these aside for a minute? Why don't I um, bring in that like striped? Because I told you I wanted to do the striped washi strip sticker, this one. So if I use this, I can kind of separate the top from the rest of it. That's pretty busy, isn't it? Um, what if I try this one? It's gonna all coordinate because it's all from the same sticker book. Let's try this instead. like this is less busy than that other one because the other one had so many stripes skinny skinny stripes yeah I like this one better but I think I might want to bring it all the way across let me see it's gonna run into that hole but I think that's okay let's try it and now let's cut the sides here. And then it went kind of in this hole, so I'm gonna just cut this out. So I have room to put it in my planner and it'll fit good. Okay. I think that's cute. That's cuter than the other one. Okay. Um, so now we can put these in. I think it'll fit better because it's not gonna be up so high. I'm just 
just going to lightly put that down because I have to kind of um yeah let's do that okay so I'm going to stick this like this and we're going to have a little extra room on the page I may like decorate a little bit I don't know I'm just going to stagger this so it's not immediately across from the other one that's slightly crooked, isn't it? I don't know which one is crooked. I feel like this one is. Let's put this down again. That's better. Okay, let me grab the other two boxes. So we have a pink and a purple. I'm going to put the pink here, and I'm going to just count the number. Let's see. If we put this one here, there's going to be like two in between, so I want to do the same on this side. Do you know what I mean? Just so that it all like is even and lines up properly. Okay, get this other one. Now we'll take it down to crooked. Is that crooked? So, yeah. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys make packing lists every time you go somewhere or if you have like a master list. Um, if you haven't checked out my packing list video, I'll try to remember to link it in the description box and that's for like weekends and longer trips um but like i said this is just for my boyfriend's house so it's not like it's not the same thing in my book all right we're just going to cover this obviously says to buy i'm going to cover that up oops i guess this is a little bit longer so that's okay we'll just bring it over the side a little bit i kind of actually like that look better and let me grab the other boxes here. So sometimes it's fun to just create like little cute, you know, half sheet lists in your planner for just the different things that you need them for. Um, I'm gonna move this up because you can see that slightly at the top, like the little circle there. I have a bunch of these in my planner. I usually keep them in the back of my planner um, with the like the big lists. And then when I go to a new planner each year or whenever I switch planners, I always carry those over into the new one. That way they're always there when I need them. And with the packing lists, what I do typically I probably won't do it with this because this is just like a reminder. I don't really have to check things off when I pack, but when I go on actual vacations for like a week at a time, if we ever start going on vacations again, um, what I do is I um, I take it and I put it in on my copier and I photocopy like this list every time I go away. And same thing with the weekly list and stuff. So I photocopy it print like I'm sorry yeah just print it out and that way I can like check it off you can also like um, laminate these and check it off I'm not big on laminating things um, I know it's like wasting paper to print it out each time I go away but honestly I don't go away that much so to me it's not like a big deal and then I just check everything off um, so it's really helpful um, that way you know you can just have it like in the room with you while you're packing. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this, this I think, for writing in the categories. So let's see. I'm gonna write clothing here. I'm just doing like a regular printing. Um, toiletries. and bumble 
she gets pink. <laughs> so if you have a problem centering your letters, a trick that I do is if I start writing, like I estimate and then I start writing, and if I start writing and realize, uh-oh, it's not gonna go all the way to the end, then what I do is make my letters a little bit wider as I go along to kind of fill that space or I like put more space in between each letter. And if I notice that it's gonna like get too close to the end, then I'll make them smaller. So I don't know, that's just what I do. All right, so now we have our categories. I'm just gonna take a minute and write in um, the things I need to pack in each category. Wait a minute, before I do that, maybe I should put icons in here. That would be actually really, really cute. I could put the little disc icons in here. I could put these in the color, let me see. Do I have them in all the colors? Yeah, why don't I take these and I'll just mark, that way like my um, my list won't get like too close or whatever, you know, so that they're all sort of even when I write them in. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna make it in the color of the box. Okay, that's really, really cute. I'm glad I put those in. So now up here, there's like this blank space and I'm wondering if I should put like a little quote in there or something. Let's look in the travel sticker book. I know that like going to my boyfriend's house isn't exactly traveling, but maybe there's some cute little sticker that says let's go or something, right? I feel like there should be if there's not, or maybe in like the, um, here we go, wait. Oh, here we go, let's go, it's so small though. Maybe in the um, memory planning books, there might be one, but let's look here first. I could put one of these packing lists, but I already put packing lists up there. So that's like redundant, kind of dumb. Let's go back in the planner bay book because maybe they have something on that page with here we go, weekend getaway. I mean, it's not really a weekend getaway. You say packing lists, but like I said, I already wrote packing lists up there. I'm just like searching for something, anything, right? Um, how about one of these check it off? That's cute. And then down here, does it need something little? Um, maybe like another one of these. Or maybe I don't need anything down there. from here, went across like that. It's kind of cute, right? It just fills up that little space at the bottom. Okay. So we really are staying in this Planner Babe sticker book except for obviously the black boxes. Okay, and this box. All right, now I'm just gonna take a moment and write in everything I need to remember. Okay, so like I said, 
it's only a few things that I have to bring to his house. So this really will help me every time I go to pack up just a weekend bag. So I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments down below if you make these kinds of lists in your planner. And I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'm trying to get to, to 30,000. I did not make it in May, but I'm really trying in June. Hopefully by the time you're watching this, I will have already hit that, but I don't know, because this is I'm making this a couple weeks before, really trying to get ahead of these videos. So anyway, I hope you like this. Stay tuned for Doodle of the Day, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.